because the older you get, the more difficult it becomes. And my biggest problem is not so much food, but sweet stuff. There's not a day that goes by that I didn't eat chocolates and any type of sweets. And what I found so nice about the herbal life is that I got in such a lot of sweet stuff that I was saying, Ugh, is it too much sweet stuff today? I didn't even think about the sweets. And um, yeah, I can't, uh, can't really join in too much in the exercises because my knees are uh, not, not good. So I've started walking. And I'm now feeling so um, energetic from all the walking. And the whole experience is just, I'm like in 10 days, I feel as if I'm like five or 10 years younger since wow. I just did the yeah. first, um, the first Herbalife Challenge. Yeah, wow. Wow. I really loved it. Congratulations. And I've got my, my daughter and her husband are both in on it. Um, he didn't want to join in on the group or anything. But he's joining in on the meal planning and that. So what's nice is I've got her making the food. I don't have to make food anymore. Wow. <laughs> she makes for all of us now. Double yeah. whammy. Don't yeah. tell me you don't live too far away. Maybe I pop in there. Eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. Well done, Troy. Congratulations. Come, let's give her an applause. Well done. Woo! Come on, everybody. Yay. Microphones. You must be not on silent here, okay? So have your microphones open. This is a nice and relaxed call. Hi, Michelle. Hey. I like the hoodie. <laughs> that <Awesome>. is <laughs> Adia, do you want to share something, Megan? Share with us your experience. Uh, okay. I think I um, because I never ever thought that I'd be a herbal life um, anything. Like I've never really liked exercise. Um, so when I was younger, fortunately, I didn't really have to exercise in order to look okay. Um, but after my baby, um, obviously, I put on weight and whatever. And I've just, um, but for me, it was so interesting to see the meal prep and the the different um, ways of eating, the recipes that were shared, um, that it can still be tasty, but yet so much healthier than what we normally eat. And the group participation and the motivation for me was, was a nice experience. Congratulations, Adia. Thank you so much for yes. Awesome. <laughs> Megan, you want to go? Uh, sure, I can go. Um, so it for me, I also really didn't expect to be a Herbalife person. Um, and I really enjoyed how it made me feel, like I was sleeping better. Um, I also am someone who loves the sweet stuff. So the fact that I didn't crave chocolates and sweets and sugary cool drinks was really, really great. Um, I guess uh, this is my second time, so I'm going to try and do the exercise and food better because I was in the process of moving apartments at the same time. So I had no cutlery or anything, um, but it was a really, really enjoyable experience and I liked the way I felt doing awesome. the 10 day journey. Awesome, fantastic. Thank you for sharing, absolutely brilliant, fantastic. So I want to give actually an opportunity to the other coaches to share a word because I mean, I'm, I'm always talking and I find actually I talk too much here. So I just want to hand over quickly to um, the, the engaged people who did really work out or um, worked in the kitchen. Um, I'm not sure if Emma is ready to talk, Michelle, but maybe you want to talk <laughs> Emma from Mich uh, Emma. <laughs> Coach, Coach Emma was just Emma. awesome. Emma is getting better. <laughs> but Ashley, uh, Michelle, Pepe, Rukshana, I would like to hear a word from you to our participants as well. I mean, we are at the same time participants, understand, we also work on our best body because we can't be a good coach if we wouldn't work further on our best results. So we experience actually both sides at the same time and it challenges us even more to be a, a great role model. Um, yeah, over to you, Michelle, Roxana, Pepe, Ashley. Maybe we just make it in that order. Michelle, Pepe, Roxana, <laughs> Ashley. Um, this is now what the fifth was it the fifth challenge? Yeah, you're getting Every old. Time, 
every time it just gets better and better and easier. I mean, uh, we started off, I mean, with a, with a lifestyle change motive and um, it's now a lifestyle. It's, it's easy now. It's, mm. I mean, it's, it's enjoyable. And I mean, I'm training Emma, she's, she's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, I, I really enjoy it. It's, it's nice to be a part of something and to see the changes in people. And especially, I mean, with you guys, Adair and, and, and Megan, who, who never saw themselves doing these kinds of things, just to see that it is possible, even for people that are non-believers, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's satisfying. It's nice. I love it. Lovely. Lovely. Awesome. Rukhana, <coughs> Pepe, then Ashley. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. I decided to have our cookies here. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Hello. <laughs> he's, he's officially also part of the prize giving. <laughs> awesome. I just want to say, um, to be from my side, I have to say being in the clean day challenge, um, has, and, and it's the same thing I said in the previous challenge as well. It's only bettered my cooking. It is bettered my, um, how do I say, um, being more confident in front of the camera. <laughs> it's made things so much better and yes it's, it's kept me um, motivated as well um, for my personal results and making sure that I continue um, in working harder not only for me but for my team as well so this has attracted a lot more people with reference to the difference in the in the amount of eating and and the amount of presentation of my shakes and stuff because obviously you have to post it so yes, I have to say from my side, thank you, Baya, and thank you, team, and well done to everybody for the past 10 days. Awesome. Good evening. How's everyone doing? <laughs> okay. Yes. So for me, the challenge is just for, mostly it's for excitement because I want to always be excited as a coach. So you to show excitement all the time you need to be around people that are positive and the challenge is actually keeping me um, excited and just having fun is the name of the game if you're not having fun then don't do it so that's what I enjoy most and I'm not into cooking <laughs> they all know but I'm, I've done a, I've made a few a few dishes I did the ice cream at um, Rukshana <laughs> and I did the uh, what you call it, I can't remember, but most of all, I enjoy the workout, so that's why I mm. actually volunteer to do the workout. And I'm sorry, guys, if it's a bit um, intense, but we all growing and we get better, so yeah, I'm super excited and looking forward to the next um, 10 days with you guys. And thank you so much, Bia, for the opportunity, and thank you everyone for always being engaged and just sharing and inspiring. Awesome. Thank you, Pepe. Um, for, for us, I think it was, um, this was our biggest team that we had in, in the challenge. And, and for me and Sadiqa, this is our, our third, it was our third challenge. But I think the biggest challenge was us being, um, doing the exercises that one morning. And, and, and it's, it's, it's not as easy as this, where you can see everybody. You're not sure if, if there's anybody around. You're not sure if anybody's doing it, so so that was a bit of a of a challenge. But um, we 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 we're taking up the challenge and we we've added another day to to the workouts and we've um, added a, a cooking one night for cooking. But I think um, we a mother's gonna help us with the cooking, so 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 we're gonna get an extra hand in there. So for us, it was a it was a challenging um, uh, ten days. Uh, um, but for our team that we had, our, we had 10 people in a, in a group. Wow. Um, thank you to them for, for joining us, um, especially um, the, the newbies, the people that said they, they weren't believers. So um, thank you, Megan and Adair that's on the call now and everybody else that's, that's not on this call. Thank you for them to make this a success for us. Thank you. Well done. Awesome, awesome. And congratulations, actually, really encouraging 10 people to join you in this challenge means actually 
you help 10 people to change their life, mm -hmm. help their, to change their productivity, to change their outlook in life. So this is where I can encourage you, just all of you, to keep your mind open, to basically talk open about the 10-day challenge, get more people into the 10-day challenge, because we often say, I like to help people. This is really how we can make an effort and change other people's lives, just telling them about the 10-day challenge. And those who are really on the mission and look for solutions, they can join them and see basically also the difference. Just telling you quickly, we were sitting with friends this afternoon for um, a late breakfast, lunch after church. We had omelette, okay, no bread and stuff like that, if, if you think about that one. But she is a model. And she looks absolutely beautiful. But she said to me, Bea, I'm tired all the time. What is wrong with me? She's skinny. You know how models look. Yeah. Mm. I mean, to yeah. in church today. And she said, I'm all the time mm. tired. So we sit now together, obviously, in this coming week and talk about the 10 day challenge and everything, what we can do for her. But we underestimate sometimes the people who look beautiful on the outside. We don't know how they feel actually in the inside. So this is why always sharing is caring. But now without any further ado, I know you want to just know who are the winners and what's happening with the results. So let me open up my quick presentation I put together and I'll just go to the beginning. So here you can see the beginning. And I shared with you already a little bit of video clip, so I didn't went through all the photos again. Um, but I will share, if you want to, the video clip again. Remember the video clip where I put a couple of um, slides together? And I will basically share another one with you. So I don't want to take up too much time, but I want to take up now the time, actually, for everybody who sent in their results. And I don't say anything to your results. That's completely up to you to comment on it. And this is our beautiful Shannon, who inspired her daughter, actually. How old is your daughter, Shannon? She's 14. She's 14 years old. 14 years old. And it's so important. I think we all know who are maybe one or two years older than 14. I mean, I'm 16 now. You might be 15. Yeah. We all know how we felt with 14 when we didn't were in the right shape because people... And, and if, especially children can be sometimes very rude to each other. And so this is what I like. And actually a child in that age is building her immune or the immune system is already done. But if you don't get it right there, they will suffer for life because they build up their condition basically for later. So well done for encouraging her, um, Shannon. But you want to say a word please about your result and how your daughter feels right now. How do you continue with her in the challenge or does she want to continue? How does she feel overall? So, Yes, Bia, she's very, very optimistic. Um, good evening, first of all, everyone. I'm very, very optimistic. She's starting tomorrow again with me, the next challenge. And I think we've converted her as well. She's a believer now. As I said in this little message that I see here, for me, it was just getting her back on track, back to the basics. And I think I've succeeded in that so far. On the days that she didn't join in the 6 a.m. Um, live workout, she would just do her own routine. And, and that, that inspired me. I said um, during the challenge on the group, I said that the challenger is being challenged now. So, yeah, she started becoming my motivation and my inspiration. So, and we've got another challenger then with us. We even um, managed to convince my eldest daughter. So I've got both of them joining me tomorrow. Lovely. So, yeah. awesome. Thank you very much. Congratulations. And how old is your oldest daughter? The oldest one is 18. Lovely, lovely. Oh, that's so awesome. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Well done. Congratulations. And peace to your daughter. Give her our love. What's her name again? You talk always about the baby girl. <laughs> She's Danre. Danre. Okay. Give her our love. Dan Absolutely. Ray. Well done. Well done. Okay. I'll let's have a so. look at more results. And there we have Soraya. Soraya, open up your microphone. You didn't share her after photo big with me. So it's up to you now to share a little bit more about your experience. Yeah, no, look, it's the second challenge I'm doing and um, 
I must say I'm really, really enjoying it, especially the cooking classes. I'm getting to the exercises, Pepe. I'll get there, I promise you. But um, it's just done wonders for me. Eh? My youngest brother's just had a heart attack, so I'm getting him involved as well. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, not beautiful that he had a heart attack, but I had the honor to meet him actually on Thursday, and it was his 49th birthday. And being 49 year old, being sports guy, being skinny, and having a heart attack, this explains basically what we are doing is when people are sporty and don't watch what they eat, they eat muscle and gain more fat, and this can cause serious trouble. So well done on encouraging also your brother and well done on your own results. And never look at the kilogram somebody loses. Look also how well somebody feels. And I know Soraya got a lot of more energy because she runs her business like crazy. She is actually our lady behind the scenes when it comes to branding and does an excellent job always and will stay in night all of a sudden with your energy it's absolutely amazing so please give it up for Soraya well done thank you <laughs> and then we have Pulang do we have Pulang on the call here I'm not sure I didn't see her not earlier but maybe because of the change also so by the way what I'm doing is as an exception, I record actually this call because a couple of people couldn't be on the call because of that change. Um, but Puleng for her changed also a lot, as you can read here on the slides. Um, and she actually joined also the new challenge now. And as far as I know, she has encouraged three or four people being with her on the challenge. You can see her, the results. So she lost 2.3 kilo and she lost quite a bit of centimeter as well. So she writes here, actually, she is joining with four people now in the next challenge, and um, she liked the accountability as well. Then we have Megan. Megan, you were talking already for yourself, but I still leave it up to you now to share a little bit more how you feel when you look at your pictures from before and now, and how you feel overall now with your results. Uh, so overall, I feel really happy. Um... Uh, it's a very easy program to follow. Um, it helps with making sure that you're eating a lot healthier food. Um, I feel like I have a lot more energy. I don't want to have afternoon naps uh, on the weekends and I'm not craving um, sweets and chocolates. So I really, really have enjoyed it and I really like what Herbalife has done for me at the moment. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so, so proud of you. I'm proud of you that you changed and uh, challenge, challenge yourself with the next challenge. You lost more than one and a half kilos. That's absolutely brilliant. And lost also 17 centimeters. That's quite a bit. Absolutely awesome. And energy levels up. Congratulations. So please put your hands together and show a little bit of excitement here for Megan. Well done, well done, well done. Awesome. Well done. And then we have Adair. Adair, your results. Wow, they're showing off. Look at the picture before and now. Um, Adair, you want to share a little bit more about your pictures? And when, when I look at the difference, oh my word. Next time when you take photos, just having the after photo also your face. <laughs> but it's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Adair, are you still there? Um, yeah. Um. So the before picture was, um, I think it was soon after my daughter was born. So I still had obviously a bit of um, belly and all of that. But I mean, I stayed like that for a couple of years after she was born. She's five years old now. Um, and like I said earlier, I did exercising. I used to go to the gym, but just for a little while with, with my husband. Um, and then I stopped. Um, when we moved last year, I think. Um, but now, even after the, the challenge ended, I, I still get up at 6 a.m. to to do the, the Facebook um, workout. And it was nice to be able to go back to those videos and, and do it if you didn't know really, we didn't have your own routine, so you could go back to those and watch it again. I just love my snacks, my chocolates. Um, didn't drink enough water but now I'm I don't really want all of that anymore I'd rather have a shake <laughs> like I said I didn't ever think I'd, I'd say that but yeah that's the way it is Hello. 
Bravo, bravo, bravo. And you can see it in the centimeters also. When you say the belly, you lost five centimeters in the belly. That's quite a bit. You can feel it in your pants, I'm sure. And lost one kilo in 10 days. That's also absolutely brilliant. So well done. And well done for joining again. Absolutely brilliant. And then we have Chanel Janse van Rietsburg here. I'm not sure if she's on the call. Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. Who is the coach from Chanel? We have Chanel's coach here. It's me, me, me. me. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> I couldn't find the button. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> I did not see this. <laughs> well, Chanel, Chanel also, is she not on the call? Unbelievable. I couldn't see um, her. She's a close friend of mine. She's a close friend of mine, and she is a chocoholic. She eats chocolates morning, noon, and night. And... Um, she just started her own business again. So she's really amped to, to make a difference or, or change her habits um, because she needs a lot of energy now. And she did everything to a T. She did the cooking precisely. She did the exercise precisely. I mean, she went to the gym, you know, almost every day, but um, walked on the treadmill for an hour. <laughs> and then she never got results because the balance of the exercise and the chocolates didn't add up. <laughs> so she says um, her weight is not, I think her weight is not as, as big of a jump, the three kilograms, yes. Um, but I mean, you can see her belly is, is, is a lot smaller and, and thinner. Yeah, she but lost yeah, the total of three kilo and 16 three. centimeter. It's amazing. Wow. So well done. So give it a hand. We record the call when she watches later on. She wants to hear her. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Selena. Is Selena here? Uh, who, is Selena? who is Selena's coach I don't, actually? It's me. Um, I, I don't think she's on the call. Um, but yeah, as you can see, um, Selena was um, heavily into unhealthy snacks. She didn't drink lots of water. Now there's no more cravings for, for unhealthy snacks, um, snacking on healthier options, and she's been uh, increasing her, her water intake. So what we, we've done outside of the, the, the normal WhatsApp group, we had a side little group for our, for our little team, and we did the on-the-hour um, the on the hour challenges that we had. And, and she was of, of, um, on the one day, she, I made a captain for on the one day, and, and she just took it. And the same with, with the dear and, and, and her husband. So that little, small little group we had was quite exciting in terms of, um, I think not everybody is, is comfortable speaking in a, in a big group, but in a smaller group, they are easy to, 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 to communicate. And definitely um, Selena on the last, I think it was after the 10 day challenge, it was the Thursday, I think. And then uh, she, she took control of the, the hourly um, notifications. Um, I think you can go to the next slide in terms of a, a weight loss. So she she wasn't too too happy with the um, with the weight that she lost. Uh, then I asked her what was your your centimeters, and then she told me it was about thirty centimeters. And then I said, but uh, thirty centimeters is a lot. And if you look at uh, the waist, there from one hundred three to ninety three, that that's massive. And then she realized that actually that 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 is impressive. So it's not always about the, what the scale says. It's, it's how your clothes sits and 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 like just how you feel. So so yes, she's not joining us for, on the next challenge, but she's definitely uh, looking forward to the one after that one. So yeah, brilliant, fantastic, fantastic, great results yeah. and interesting idea with having that extra group. Brilliant. You want to talk for Sarita as well? Okay, uh, this is um, Sadiqa's mother. Um, so she she was always bloated. She felt tired. Uh, always feel for chocolate. Uh, felt felt lazy. Had no exercise. And this is a um, a second challenge now. I think no, it's actually it's a a, a third challenge. Um, and 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 she's 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 getting better and better in terms of the the, the energy levels, the the no cravings, um, feeling good and fitting into her clothes. Um, you can go to the next slide. Um, yeah, yeah. Also, it's not um, massively in terms of what the scale says, but but 
the, the centimeters all, all, all adds up. So um, there, yeah, that's, that's one kg, but in any case, one kg in, in 10 days, that's still, still, it still takes a, you still have to do something to get to lose one kg. If you didn't, if you, if you don't do the 10 day challenge, then uh, you wouldn't have lost the, the one kg. So yeah, she, she's looking forward to the next challenge that starts tomorrow. Lovely, lovely, fantastic. This is me again. I don't know if you uh, know this guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so basically I was, I, I, I like to take naps or I needed to take naps over the weekends. I don't do that uh, anymore. Um, for example, th this weekend I, I needed to study because I'm writing um, th this week. I had no naps. Um, so yeah, definitely um, Herbalife um, does wonders. You can go to the next slide. Um, I did uh, lose about uh, three kgs. Um, lost about 10 centimeters um, and um, doing uh, the, what the challenge is meant for me is um, doing it with a team. Obviously, this time we had a bigger team, the online support and, and obviously loving the, the shakes. Um, and for the next challenge, we have about four people that's, that's joining us. Brilliant. And three kilo down. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. Fantastic. Then we have Wendy, she's not here on the call, but I share quickly her results. So she was before very tired, depressed, sluggish, and no energy. And she feels really now that is improving. She lost 1.7 kilo and 13 centimeter in overall. And then we have Troy, Troy is on the call. Troy can talk for herself. Troy verse, please, all the way from Sunset Beach. <laughs> Troy, are you here? Yeah, so um, the first day when, when Bea wanted to take my picture, I said, oh, I don't know if I want to have photos taken. But I knew um, I had to see myself the way I look. And um, yes, I I was struggling with my health issue. I was very lethargic. And um, I met Bea at a braai and I had gout, hectically bad. And that Saturday night, the Sunday morning, I actually ended up in hospital with a gout. And um, I decided this is now, I, now I have to get better because I um, want to live to be 100. And <laughs> for me to do that, I have to be healthy. So yes, I walk every morning from five until half past. Um, and then sometimes I, sorry, from quarter past five until quarter to six, at six I've got to start showering to go to work because I still have my own business. Um, yes, and I just followed, I followed the recipes and everything to the T and ate everything to the T. I didn't cheat one bit. And I lost nearly three kilos, 2.9 kilos, but I lost 39 centimeters, I think, yes. Wow. So I'm very happy, very happy. Well done, congratulations. Absolutely brilliant, Joy. Bravo. <laughs> well, well done, done well done. Well done. Thank you. So and this is all the results um, the people have sent in. This is why I can't show you more. Obviously, we always like to see also for all the coaches, please encourage you guys to take the before photos. And everybody who has joined the next challenge, please take your before photo. Also that we can have the after photos, send it in because it's always beautiful. So quickly to tell you about the winning. Um, we always have a prize, basically, which is related to the supervisors who are on the team, basically, in the 10-day challenge. Each one of the supervisors makes a contribution, and this basically makes up the cash prize. And the cash prize, you can have then in form of a product, or you can have as a cash prize. Um, often it makes more sense as a, as a product. And um, so I, I basically give always all the results. And I open up the group to cheery, and they look basically, first of all, how much you engage. Engage on the, that you are on the exercise group or the cooking class or how much you comment, maybe also comment on other people's posts. And then obviously looking also at the results, but the kilo drop is not the only thing. So when you think somebody has lost most of the kilos is the winner, no, this is not how it works. They look at your photos and how accurate the photos are. The photo must be really a photo 
from the beginning of the challenge. It can't be a photo from five years ago. We, we can see that because obviously when you send us the centimeter loss, we, it makes sense. I, I think you understand. So, and then looking basically at the results, I want to have a drum roll now. So I didn't have any influence there. This is a jury of three different Herbalife experienced people. They are all longer than 15 years in the business, so they know exactly what to look for. And they have given me the text. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our winners. Drum roll, make noise. I want to hear noise. Here are the winners. First of the challenge. And it is oh, wow. Salema wow. and Troy. Woo! Congratulations and celebrations. Well done, well done. Wow. Obviously, you have to, um, those who are not on the call now, please inform them. Normally, the winner can be only the one who is on the call, but because of the circumstances with call postponed and so on, and it's three winners because we, we basically make it in a point system and all these three have actually the accurate same amount of points and therefore these are the three winners we have. We basically have 1500 rand to distribute and to make it e e um, equal, it's 500 per person and you can choose now, I make personally contact with you that you can choose basically how you want to have your price in form of a product or in form of it into your account. So congratulations to all the winners. And we know already our next challenge is on. We started tonight. So nobody can get into the new challenge again. But at the same time, we don't want to forget the next challenge happens in the beginning of November already. So with every single thing, what you do is basically you encourage more people to get with you into the challenge. Okay? So People need a change, we all know that, so help people to really get into the change. And so we have started now, or we're starting tomorrow, the, the new 10-day challenge, yeah? Same model, but just a little bit more exciting. There's a little bit, some shifts, um, you will always say that something is happening which is a little bit different and more engaging. And there's again, a cash prize then at the end. So there's not much more to say. You know already about the programs and everything. So just at the end, I want to say, first of all, thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for being with us on the call. And just let's focus that we make our families, friends, community, think about your colleagues, really happy and healthier and all the way more and more engaged. So I want to say thank you for tonight, for being on the call on a Sunday evening. I hope you are happy about the prize giving. I hope you are happy about the challenge we had now, just finished off, and about the new challenge. So don't forget tomorrow we meet in the fast track yep. challenge now, that you don't look for me on the old challenge from October. It's the new challenge now, which says October fast track. And this is where we do all our lives. For those who missed the cooking, the cooking was on already this evening. So look that you get onto the Facebook group and share it with as many people as possible to make the circle really bigger. Thank you for giving us some of your free time tonight. And thank you very much for taking good care of yourself because when you are happy and healthier, you can make the world happy and healthy. It doesn't happen the other way around. So well done for you. Thank you very much for being here. And thank you very much for being you. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye, -bye. Bye, everybody. And good luck for your exams, Ashley. <laughs> Ciao, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.